Hello guys, Krudus here and welcome to a guide on how to defeat one of the first bosses in Dark Souls 3, Vort of the Boreal Valley. Now, this is one of the first bosses in the game that will prove a challenge to you if you don't know what you're doing. So I'm gonna show you how to deal with this guy pretty easily. So first of all, he has two phases. The first one, he'll be pretty harmless. Well, he'll he'll de deal mainly overhead damage with his smash attacks. He'll do a hammer slash, a hammer slam, he'll do a, a swipe, and he'll do uh, the, this bash attack with his, uh, like a quick jab with his arm. An easy strategy to avoid these is you can use a shield on the, in this phase. He w you will be able to block 100% of damage if you have a 100% block shield. Uh, if not, you can also roll underneath him and stay underneath his, his body or uh, in front of his face and just roll through all of his attacks by rolling forward. Uh, ideally, you want to go to his hind legs and slash at them. Either one will do and you'll deal some damage. When he reaches about 50% health, he'll go into phase 2. And this is when things get a little more hairy, so he'll get this, this frostbite aura around him. Uh, before he does though, before he, when he enters this phase 2, he'll deal, he'll do these three charges towards you. And he, you have to dodge those, you can't block them because he will deal frostbite damage or frost damage. And uh, this will tear through your shield and stagger you, so don't, don't try to block those. Ideally, in phase three, 2, you don't want to use any any shield at all. So a key to this fight is to uh, change up how you use your, your camera and your lock-on. So you can use the auto lock-on during during certain parts of phase 2, and during phase 1, it's generally easier if you don't have uh, the lock-on at all. Especially during the transition between phase 1 and 2 is when you want to change up how you how you target the boss. So if you stayed unlocked during phase 1, then you want to lock on to the boss when he does his, his, ch his change into the phase 2, and you will uh, be able to dodge his, his charge attacks easier that way. So in phase 2, he'll deal some, do some crazy smashes and do some crazy attacks. He'll uh, burst around him with a lunge attack that goes in uh, like two two rhythms. Uh, first, he'll he'll do a lunge to the one side, and then he'll do a lunge to the opposite one. And then he will do a uh, he will do like this overhead smash attack that will try to take you down if you are underneath him. So you gotta stay away from him in this phase. So that's the thing about this boss. In the first phase, you gotta stay underneath him and be as close to his hind legs as possible every time you are have the availability to hit him. Do it. In the second phase, you should stay as far away as you can and move in when he is open for an attack. After he does the overhead smash, for example, or after he has uh, finished one of his attacks. So I've been Crudeless, and I hope you found this guide helpful. If you did enjoy the guide, then check out the other ones by clicking on the playlist or subscribing to my channel. I also have other Dark Souls stuff uh, with playthroughs of the other games. Uh, so check that out if you have the time. If not, enjoy Dark Souls 3 and have a great day. Thank <laughs> you.